Hello friends, welcome to your feel good yoga class for today. This is an all levels class and it's a full body flexibility class. We're gonna get into all the corners of the bodies and the nooks and the crannies and we're gonna really stretch it out. And the purpose of this class is that you can interject it into any part of your day. Maybe the early morning and you just wanna create some more space after a long night's sleep or maybe you're taking a work break and just wanna move around a little bit from sitting or typing or after work when you definitely need some movement. So. If you try this video and you like it, please give it a loving thumbs up. And if you want to practice more, then please subscribe. But let's go ahead and get started. Come to an easy seat on your mat. Maybe that's cross-legged, maybe that's on your knees, maybe that's even in toes pose on your knees. And just at first, find a really long spine. Close your eyes and let's just take two simple, intentional breaths. Big inhale through the nose. Long exhale. Make this one a little bit bigger. Big inhale. And exhale. Nice. On your next inhale, shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And then on your exhale, roll them down and back them cascade down your back. Inhale up and exhale, roll them down. Inhale up and exhale down with your breath now. Maybe you linger in certain spaces. Nice. And the next time your shoulders are down your back, keep them there. And we'll drop our left ear to our left shoulder. And we're gonna take half neck rolls, rolling forward. So exhale, roll forward. And inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. And move with your breath now. Just nice and easy, not forcing or crunching. Just kind of warming up all the corners of the body here. Maybe you even make your circle a little bigger. Maybe you take a full circle. Nice. And then next time your chin is on your chest, slowly come up to neutral. We'll plant our right hand by our, by our right hip. May draw a big circle with your left arm. On your inhale, reach your left arm forward and then up and over, reaching to the right side of the room. Spiral your chest open, look under your arm. And then big exhale through cactus arm, drawing your elbow back. Left hand plants. Inhale, right arm forward, up and over. Spiral the chest open. Exhale through cactus. Right hand plants. Left arm reaches up and over. Spiral open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take two of those with our breath. Really feel into it. Maybe even close your eyes down. you're ready, roll over our knees, come through a tabletop, and we'll come up to Uttanasana, a forward fold at the top of our mat. So big toes kiss, heels about an inch or two apart, and bend your knees a lot here. We'll inhale to a flat back, and exhale fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And take a few more ripples like that with your own breath. Inhale, flat. 
and exhale, fold it in. Maybe on your next fold, you bring your chest a little bit closer to the ground and shift your hip bones up towards the sky. And then all your weight in your heels heel ripple up to standing. Arms come overhead. Reach up, look up. And then right wrist, right hand grabs left wrist. Exhale up and over, reaching to the right side of the room, arching like a rainbow. And then switch it out, reaching over to the left. To the right, to the left. Nice. And then exhale your hands all the way down, hands clasp behind back or elbows, and then chase the ground with your fists, lifting your arms up. Knit your ribs in here so they're not flaring out and we're dumping into our low spine. Knit them in, core is engaged, glutes are engaged. And then see if you can maybe shift your gaze up and lift your sternum up to the ceiling. Nice, deep breaths. And then exhale, fold forward. Hands clasp behind back or elbows. And then see if you can bring your arms or elbows towards the front of the room. So we're really getting into our shoulders here. Exhale the arms down, hands meet mat, step back to plank, knees on the mat for this first one, lower all the way down, inhale to up dog, active legs, active glutes, shine the chest forward, and then exhale, down dog, nice, pedal it out, active with the hands, slow walk up to meet your hands, Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, come up to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Knees on or off the mat this time. Exhale, all the way down or halfway. And then inhale. Up dog, shine the chest forward. Exhale, engage the core. Down dog. Slow walk up to your hand. Inhale to a half lift. And exhale, step your right foot back. Knee meets mat. Core is engaged, inner thighs engaged. Inhale, arms up, back, toe is untucked. And then exhale, cactus your arms. Just keep them here in cactus though. So draw your elbows back like you're opening through your chest. Sternum up towards the sky. One hand can be on block here if you need a little stability. Maybe you switch it out. Two breaths while we open our chest up. Really draw your elbows back, your shoulders down your back. Exhale, hands meet mat. Tuck the back toe. Left foot meets right foot. And take your flow. So knees on or off the mat. Come down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice. Walk, hop, or jump to your hands. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, step left foot back. Knee meets mat, untuck toe. Engage the core, stability is on here. Inhale, hands rise. And exhale through cactus. Keep your elbows at shoulder length, drawing our elbows back, opening through the chest, pressing our sternum up towards the sky. This is reversing all that typing, texting, scrolling that we do. 
peel yourself open here, two breaths. Exhale, hands knee mat, tuck the back toe, step back to plank and take your vinyasa. Nice, in downward dog, pedal it out for just a moment. Step walk or hop up to meet your hands. We'll do one more round each side. So inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. Knee meets mat, untuck toe. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, peel yourself open. Chest rising, elbows low. Strong core, strong glutes. And exhale, hands meet mat. Tuck back toe, step back, and exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Slow walk up to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step left foot back. Knee meets mat, untuck toe. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, peel yourself open. Shine your heart forward and up. And exhale, hands meet mat. Right foot meets left. Take your vinyasa. Nice. Slow walk up. Inhale to a half lift. Engage the core here. We're gonna step back right into star pose. So inhale, left leg steps back. Both rise to standing. Both toes turn towards the long edge of the mat. And then exhale, 90-90 with the knees, coming into goddess. So sink low, heels in, toes out here. A few little pulses just to calibrate. Nice, then we'll take some twists. So push into your right knee with your right hand, bring your right shoulder to your left knee. Switch it out. Nice big stretch in your inner thighs here. Switch. Mm -hmm. Happy hips, these are good hip openers. Switch it out to the left. Excuse me, to the right. Nice, come up to traditional goddess pose. Inhale to star. Toes click forward. So our heels and our toes are in alignment. Long back. And then exhale, forward fold. Just prasarita. And if your feet are slipping, bring your energy to your pinky side toe or bring your heels out a little bit more and toes in. And then engage your core to bring you a little deeper in this prasarita. And rise your hip bones towards the sky. Draw your chest down, feel opening in the back chain. Relax the neck. Relax the space behind the eyes. Inhale to a half lift. Left hand plants, right hand reaches up. Prasarita twist. Exhale, right hand lowers. Inhale, left hand rises. Let your hips sw swivel to where they may. Let them <clears throat> play in their mobility, in their ball and socket. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right down. Inhale, left up. Exhale, left down. We're gonna turn all 10 toes towards the shortage of the mat. Step back to downward dog and paddle it out here for just a moment. We're gonna move into pigeon and spend a couple of breaths there and really get into our hips and this will help reverse the sitting that we do all day. So inhale your left leg up. 
This is actually right leg. I'll match with you, I'll do the left leg. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, set up for pigeon. So left knee by left hand, left foot by right hand. And if you want a deeper pigeon, parallel your shin to the short edge of the mat, or you can have it at about a 70 degree angle. Anything that's comfortable for you and always option for block or bolster under your body here. Depending on what you need, feel into what you need. Maybe you need to stay upright and strengthen the muscles in your back, or maybe you just need to fold it in today. So re-tap into your breath if you've been distracted. Long, slow breathing. Do a quick body scan. Where are you clenching? Where are you holding? And just release. Every exhale, really smelt in. Release. Nice. If you are <clears throat> in humble pigeon, then walk your hands up. Tuck the back toe. And then engage the core, engage the glutes, raise your hips back to downward and step back. Pedal it out and just bring an awareness to your hips now. How do your legs feel after just a few breaths in pigeon? Inhale, right leg up. And exhale, pigeon on the right. Nice. And again, don't assume that your body needs what it does every day or when you do pigeon in the past. How does it feel now when you stay upright or when you take forearms or when you fold over? <clears throat> What's calling to you today? Just getting really present with it and always coming from a place of non-judgment. Big inhales and exhales through the nose, slowing it down. Nice. An option to stay here as long as you need to, as always. Or start to walk your hands back to your body. Tuck the back toe, active with the hands, and raise the hips back into downward. Only a few postures left. We'll walk our feet up to meet our hands. And then come through a squat into a seat on our mats but we're not staying in the seat. We're rolling right onto our back. So with control, let's lower for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Both legs up into the air and coming into happy baby. So peace fingers to big toes or hands to outside of the feet. And just find this motion at first, option to play around in this intuitively, or just draw your knees down towards the ground, really opening through your hips. Low back is glued to the mat here, really grounding posture. And if motion is calling for you, then maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you straighten one leg and then the other. Maybe you bring your knees into your chest. Mm -hmm. 
There's no wrong way here. Nice. Take your final movement, your final breath in this happy baby. <laughs> and then we will exhale our right leg down. Exhale, left leg down. Let the feet fall open. Let the hips be heavy, arms come wide. Let the shoulders fall onto the ground, supported by the mat. Let the eyes be heavy. Relax the space behind the eyes. Relax the jaw. A little teeth gap. Relax the heart center. And just have a really sweet sense of gratitude for the mobility that your body has at this point in time. And send a little gratitude to your mental health as well for saying yes to stepping on your mat, knowing that it was good for both your body and your mind and your spirit. And just relax into your Shavasana.